Juan Soto appears to be going to the San Diego Padres with a caveat. Good morning, I'm James with Faithful Angelino Sports with the first of what is probably gonna be a few updates on Major League Baseball trade deadline day. The crown jewel of the Washington Nationals a 22-year-old outfielder who has been favorably compared with Mike Trout, Mickey Mantle, and Frank Robinson. Even though he is under uh, was under Nationals' control because he wouldn't be a free agent until 2025 became available on the trade market, sparking a bidding war between the Padres, Dodgers, and St. Louis Cardinals. The Padres have apparently won the bidding war with a caveat, which we'll get to in a moment. In the process, the Padres have emptied out their minor league system. They have sent rookie shortstop C.J. Abrams, along with two minor league outfielders, Robert Hassel III, James Wood, two pitchers, Harlan Susana and left-hander Mackenzie Gore. And here's the holdup. First baseman, Eric Hosmer. Hosmer was included in the deal as a way for the Padres to get some salary relief in the prospects. Uh, because, of course, as we all know, they're paying Manny Machado. Uh, they're eventually going to have to pay Soto, and they'll eventually have to pay Fernando T Tatis Jr. So, yeah, they're going to want to get rid of somebody like Hosmer. Hosmer has a no-trade clause in his contract. He could literally kill the deal if he chose to do so. Uh, having said that, there's going to be immense pressure for him to take the deal, and so until the trade deadline, there's going to be a lot of very tense conversations that are going to be going on uh, with the San Diego front office. Soto, for this moment, still has a down, is in a down year, but it's a down year most players would want. He still hit more than 21 home runs. They also include Josh Bell, a first baseman, coming to San Diego. But make no mistake, the big name is Soto. With regards to what the Padres gave up, Robert Hassel III is the top prospect in the Padres system and the number 21 prospect in Major League Baseball overall, according to MLB.com. Uh, James Wood is the number three prospect in the Padres system. So the idea is that Washington rebuilds its outfield on the fly. Mackenzie Gore was once the crown jewel of the Padres minor league system. He hasn't been living up to the standards that were set for him. In addition to that, he is out with an elbow injury until September. Uh, Susana, the right-handed pitcher, is the number 14th ranked prospect in the Padres system. So, if you're a Dodger fan, tell me what you think. There's been split reactions as to whether or not the Dodgers should go out and get this so-called generational talent. But he is going now to a lineup that does include... Manny Machado, and eventually, when he returns from injury, Fernando Tatis Jr. The Padres, while they will not catch the Dodgers in the NL West, they have a hold on one of those wild card spots. So you tell me what you think. Once again, we'll be updating uh, Major League Baseball trade deadline day as events go on, particularly as it relates to the Dodgers. I'm James. Feel free to like and subscribe. See you soon.